Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Monday to you all. Um, I'm so excited to be with you to do this mini round of Abundance Tapping. This is an introduction to uh, the upcoming program that starts on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, and it's called Creating Magic in 2024. And it's just a nice, it's a little course, four sessions, three Abundance Tapping, one Divine Dance. And just to really set you up powerfully for the year so that you can have your best year yet. As always, we'll start with a little visualization. So just close your eyes, hands on your heart, three deep breaths. <sighs> Taking a moment to set the intention of today's session. Thinking about what you want to let go of and what you want to bring in. What is it that you, if you let go of this year, will really quite simply create your best year yet? Perhaps it's a addiction. It could be being on the internet too much or drinking or smoking or shopping or sugar. Like what is it you're doing that's really taking up your life force and your energy that you know has you feeling worse. It could be a relationship. And letting go of any beliefs, I don't have what it takes, and anything in the way of you having your best year yet in 2024. And stretching your fingers and toes, loosening your jaw, inhaling deeply, And imagine you're walking on a beautiful white sandy beach. The sun is shining. The waves are lapping against the shore. And you're carrying this heavy backpack that's weighing you down. And it's exhausting. All this current stresses and burdens past burdens, any addictions, any bad habits that are really sabotaging your success. I'm not good enough. I should be further ahead. I'm a failure. I'm not lovable. Whatever it is. And you realize how exhausting it is to be carrying all these burdens and all these stories that aren't even true. So you set this backpack down and this whole weight is lifted off your shoulders and you keep walking. Deep breath, everyone, calling back your power from all dimensions of time and space. It is safe to shine. It's safe to be you. It's safe to succeed. It's safe and possible to have your best year yet in 2024. And you lie down in the sand and relaxing deeper and deeper, the waves are relaxing you as you go deeper and deeper relaxed. And taking a moment to breathe in divine love into your mind, into your heart, into each and every cell of your body, sharing yourself with tremendous love and compassion. It's safe to shine, it's safe to be you, it's safe to enjoy the journey, listening to your inner wisdom, each and every step of the way, deep breath. Taking a moment for your adult self to connect with your younger self.
Often if we're anxious or worried, it's that very young part of us. So your adult self is going to give your younger self a hug, let them know you love them, you have their back, and that you will never leave them. That they are safe and they can call on you anytime and you will be there. And ask them, what do you need for your healing today so that you feel safe, loved, and supported? And you're really getting your needs met. Sometimes it's a hug, sometimes it's support or play or fun. Placing them in your heart, making a note to give them what they uh, need so they get their, they experience their needs getting met. Deep breath. And traveling down the timeline of your life to your future self. It's a year from today. You have had your best year yet in 2024. Everything fell into place. The stars aligned. And it was beyond your wildest dreams. Give your future self a hug and ask them, what words of wisdom do you have for me as I move in the direction of my dreams. Coming back, give your future self a hug, coming back to your present self, hands on your heart asking, is there anything else I need for my healing today? so that I feel safe, loved, and supported, and I'm really getting my needs met. And taking a moment to cut the cords, with every, every challenging situation in your life, but also everyone, so that it's just your energy. So cut the cords with anyone you have a conflict with, any situation that's stressful, and all your friends and family, and just send them love, giving them back to the divine, giving them back to the universe. Sending them love, cutting the cords, and coming back to yourself, calling your power back from all dimensions of time and space. Any addictions, any habits that are sabotaging your success. And sending yourself love, breathing in divine love into your mind, into your heart, into each and every cell of your body. Sharing yourself with tremendous love and compassion. It's safe to shine, it's safe to be seen, it's safe to succeed, it's safe to relax and enjoy the journey. Listening to your inner wisdom each and every step of the way, you know what to do. Deep breath and a warm welcome to you all. You can open your eyes, come back to the space, feel free to write down anything that you saw in that journey any next right steps for you anything you need to look let go of and I picked a card for the group um and the card I got from the self-love deck is choose powerful interpretations despite how it seems it's never the events of our lives that call us pain or suffering it's what we make those incidents mean about us that e either builds or diminishes our self-love. 
having someone not return your smile or phone call, for example, may not necessarily upset you, but how you interpret these situations will very likely influence the way you feel about yourself. Each interpretation we make either adds to the quality of our life or takes away from it. This week, choose powerful interpretations. Think of one situation or circumstance from your past that you've deemed painful, embarrassing, or hurtful. Notice how you interpreted this event by examining what you made it mean about you. Now invent three positive interpretations of this occurrence that would leave you feeling powerful and strong rather than weak and victimized. Pick the interpretation that makes you feel best about yourself, one that nurtures your soul and feeds your self-love. Write this interpretation down on a sticky note or an index card and read it to yourself every day this week. Okay, so um, once again, a warm welcome. We're going to do some tapping. And if you're new to tapping, watch the How to Tap video. I think everyone's familiar with tapping. I'm also going to put in the chat um, if you'd like to join us for the Creating Magic, the link. Um, if you sign up today, you can save $100. You also get to bring a friend for free. So, yeah, and I'm super excited about it. It's going to be um, clearing blocks so that you can really be set up powerfully to start the year and really make it, like, make space for your dreams and your desires um, and the magic of letting go and the magic of, you know, when we let go of anxiety and procrastination and fear and anger, all the things that can be very consuming, it really creates space for us to move in the direction of our dreams and have our best year yet. So Ceci, um, if you'd like to unmute and tell me in a nutshell what you'd like to let go of and bring in so that you can have your best year this year in 2024. I wanna thank you, Kate. Um, I would love to let go of um, my self-censorship and um, the idea that if I show up fully authentically as myself, um, others won't take me seriously um, or they will misinterpret my message and what I have to teach and offer. Um, so finding balance and the yeah, calling my power back to me to deliver my offering with integrity and not worry so much about how it will be received by the audience and trusting that those that are meant to connect with me will understand and those that won't will be you know, just repelled or blind to it. Yes. Yeah, that's great. It's like when you shine in your your authentic self, you'll you will. You'll magnetize people and and repel others. So um what number is that zero to ten? Eight. Okay. And is it fear? Uh yes, it's fear of rejection and just being ostracized by people that I care about. Okay, where do you feel that in your body? Um, I feel in my heart, I feel it in my shoulders weighing me down. Mm, okay. All right. So let's um, tap along. And if for everyone listening, if you have a fear of shining and being seen, you have, you know, you're afraid of being rejected, you're worried about what others think as you go after your dream, tap along, you can change the words anytime. Karate chop point. Even though I have all this fear of being my authentic self. Even though I have all this fear of being my authentic self. I'm so worried about what they think. I'm so worried about what they think. And I don't know how to let this go. I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. I wonder who I'd be without this fear. I wonder who I'd be without this fear. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. 
Close your eyes, deep breath. Even though I have all this fear of shining and being seen. Even though I have all this fear of shining and being seen. All this fear of being rejected and abandoned. All this fear of being rejected and abandoned. And that, <clears throat> excuse me, and I don't know how I can let this go. I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I have to be on guard. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. And I appreciate my feelings. Close your eyes, deep breath, everyone. But even though I have all this fear of being rejected and abandoned if I'm my true authentic self. Even though I have all this fear of being rejected and abandoned if I'm my true authentic self. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows, all this fear of being abandoned and rejected. 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 This fear of being myself. This fear of being myself. What if they don't like me? What if they don't like me? What if they don't think I'm very good? What if they don't think I'm very good? What if they're mad at me? What if they're mad at me? Anything else? And everyone have a vent about your issue. Anything else about how it is for you, Ceci? You can tap on your collarbone if you like. Okay. Um, I don't want to be canceled. I don't want to lose friends. I don't want my family to worry about me and think that I've gone off the deep end, that I'm just unhinged, uh, that I'm um intense and too much that um I need to be pacified and medicated and um that I I can't be who I really am in this world without getting harmed or without pushing people away in the process just by being myself. Mm. Very clear. Okay, let's go here. All this fear of being abandoned and rejected. All this fear of being abandoned and rejected. This part of me that does not feel safe to shine. This part of me that doesn't feel safe to shine. Part of me just wants to hide out. Part of me just wants to hide out. It's much safer. It's much safer. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Back off back off part of me just wants to hide part of me just wants to hide but another part of me has this purpose and vision but another part of me has this purpose and vision and really wants to share my gifts with the world really wants to share my gifts with the world and people there are people out there that really um need my help there are people out there that really need my help and if I hide out, they won't find me. And if I hide out, they won't find me. So I really want to let go of this fear of shining and being seen. So I really want to let go of this fear of shining and being seen. Letting go of worrying about what they think. Letting go of worrying about what they think. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. What I think of me is my business. I think of me as my business. It is safe to shine. It is safe to shine. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. Letting go of this fear of being rejected and abandoned. Letting go of this fear of being rejected and abandoned. The truth is the people that really love me will love me anyway. The truth is the people that really love me will love me anyway. And the people that don't won't. And the people that don't won't. Letting go of this loss of power. Letting go of this loss of power. Letting go of this uh, old guilt and shame from my past about what I did or didn't do. Letting go of this old guilt and shame from my past about what I did or didn't do. Letting go of being general manager of the universe. 
Letting go of being general manager of the universe. And giving this to the universe, to the divine to handle. Giving this to the universe, to the divine to handle. I don't need to do it all by myself. I don't need to do it all by myself. It is safe to relax about all of this. It is safe to relax about all of this. Trusting the divine order of my life. Trusting the divine order of my life. That good comes out of these challenges. That good comes out of these challenges. That good lies before me. That good lies before me. It is safe to relax about all of this. Safe to relax about all of this. Trusting the divine order of my life. Trusting the divine order of my life. Listening to my inner wisdom. Listening to my inner wisdom. Each and every step of the way. In every step of the way. I know what to do. I know what to do. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. I love knowing everything's working out for me. I love knowing everything's working out for me. It is safe to shine. It is safe to shine. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be me. It is safe to share my gifts with the world. Safe to share my gifts with the world. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. What I think of me is my business. What I think of me is my business. The truth is, when I shine, I attract my perfect people. The truth is, when I shine, I attract my perfect people. Yeah, and some people will love me and some people won't. And some people will love me and some people won't. And that's okay. That's okay. I love feeling calm and confident. I love feeling calm and confident. I'm so excited about this new chapter. I'm so excited about this new chapter. I'm so grateful for all the good in my life. I'm so grateful for all the good in my life. And I celebrate how far I've come. And I celebrate how far I've come. I love being me. I love being me. I love sharing my gifts with the world. Sharing my gifts with the world. Anything else you'd like to let go of or bring in? Um, letting go of all of the mental and physical clutter in my life that I'm hanging on to for safety and just trusting that making space for the new blessings to come, um, will, yeah, um, will serve, will serve my purpose, will serve my shining. Mm. Yeah, it, I feel so good to let go of that which no longer serves me. I feel so good to let go of that which no longer serves me. I'm making space for a magical 2024. Making space for a magical 2024. And the more I let go of, um, the more space I have for success. The more I let go of, the more space I have for success. I release that which no longer serves me now. I release that which no longer serves me now. It is safe to succeed and shine. It is safe to succeed and shine. I'm allowed to succeed and shine. I'm allowed to succeed and shine. I give myself permission to succeed and, so and shine. I give myself permission to succeed and shine. I love shining and succeeding. I love shining and succeeding. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. I love sharing my gifts with the world. I love sharing my gifts with the world. I am ready now. I am ready now. I choose to have my best year yet. I choose to have my best year yet. I love shining and being seen. I love shining and being seen. It feels so good to be my true authentic self. I feel so good to be my true, authentic self. Life loves me, all is well. Life loves me, all is well. Close your eyes, hands on your heart, three deep, three deep breaths. Tuning in zero to 10, this fear of being my authentic self, worrying about what they think. It's quieted down to a two. 
Excellent. So you've come from an eight to a two, which is a whole different vibration. And what's the next right step? How are you feeling? And what's the next right action? Um, I'm feeling more peaceful and at ease um, in my in my own energy. And I think my next right action is to put out a somatic video on moving through anger. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love that idea. That sounds fantastic. So you're gonna when are you gonna do that? Today. Yeah, I have the Yay. song pick move and um fantastic. Oh, it's great to see you, Ceci. Thanks for bringing that great topic to the call. Any last minute questions, thoughts, comments before we wrap up? Um, no, I'm really grateful. Appreciate um the opportunity. Thank you, Kate. Thanks, everyone. You're so welcome, Ceci. Okay, so um, great work, everyone. Uh, great work. I hope you're all feeling lighter. I'm here if you have questions. And once again, an invitation to join us on Wednesday. Wednesdays for the next four Wednesdays, starting on the 10th. And uh, at 10 a.m. Pacific, it is recorded if you can't be on live. So the recordings are just as powerful. And um, listen to your inner wisdom, like, it, does this resonate? Um, is it a yes? Is it a no? What is coming through? Trust your gut feeling. And drink lots of water. And after this round of tapping, just really uh, take some inspired action. If it, does anyone have any questions before we wrap up? Um, I hope you can join us. And like I said, you can bring a friend and save $100 if you sign up today. Um, I would love to have you join us. Any questions before we complete the session? Sending you all much love. Nadi, do you have a question? Uh, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciated that. I, I know I can't do it live on Wednesday. That's just not a great time for me. And I um, uh, I saw you had some other recorded um I'm just going to try a recording because I just love to see you live. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the all calls are recorded. It's really good to, you, you know, you can get it's kind of like this and you'll just get the recording and listen whenever it works for you. So that might be. And there's also the 21 day abundance where you get a video every day. Um, so, yeah, listen to your inner will you, wisdom. Will you send a recording of this one? I will. Yeah, I'll send it out. OK, that'd be awesome. I think yeah. I'll, I'll I'll maybe look at it again this evening and uh, I'll make a call uh, because otherwise I, I think I might just try to set up uh, join a live class or set up something with you because I'm I've been clear for a while that I need to do tap <laughs> and yeah. just trying to find the space uh, you know Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Whether you want to join the program and listen to the recordings or um, have a session, just let me know. I would love to support you. Yeah. It's really good to see you, Nadi. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sending you guys lots of love and uh, keep me posted if you have questions and I'll send the recording out. Okay. Thank you. And thank, thank you. Sarah. You're so right. welcome. Bye. Bye.